As KK across Maui returned to school today, a pair of children are among those that still have their future to look forward to. Now that's thanks in part to a 25-year Lahaina boat captain and two other women. They came back through the smoke and even waves on fire to help rescue them. As the fire started ravaging Lahaina last week Tuesday, that evening, Christina Lovett helped fellow boaters whose vessels were damaged or blown out to sea by the wind. The smoke was unbelievable. It was just, I mean, no visibility in the harbor. I mean, our, we were feeling the heat. When the fire moved closer, Lovett and her crew rushed people onto boats and out of the harbor. And it was like clear at that point, no one is going to help us. No one's going to help put the fire out. We have to do what we can do to save people and get them out of the harbor. Lovett says boats had been hit by windswept embers, some catching fire, even causing explosions. The fuel also setting some of the water ablaze. The harbor was on fire and there were waves, like waves that you could surf um, outside the harbor that were on fire. She says the Coast Guard's vessel couldn't make it into the shallow reef, so she took a rescue swimmer in and they found two keiki. You know, he said, you know, there are a lot of uh, survivors here on the beach. And so we were able to grab the two children. But despite their best efforts running back and forth until 4 a.m., they couldn't find anyone else. I'm hearing these stories now and I'm just like, how I, I've, I don't know how I miss them, you know, because we were looking hard for them. Even after the heroic efforts, she dreads the news to come out of her community. The next thing that I think is going to be really, really hard is just the reality of everybody that we lost in the fire. Love it all also lost her boat in the fire, but says she's been using other people's boats, making runs north to towns above Lahaina to bring in some supplies.